Hello and welcome back to Summer Farm Estates. One of the bugbears within the farming simulator community. And as you can see from what we have got on the back of the crawler, it is to do with the conventional or one way plough. I see people who do it wrong all the time. I just wanted to put a little tutorial out. There are two commonly used ways to use this plough and a couple of others that not so common. So let's get in with it. So for a start we open up the plough down the field and we go up this way uh, we're not going to be leaving headlands on this field just because there is enough grass at the ends to enable you to turn on the headlands away from the headlands. Right, so you get to this point and the way the one way plough works you now come down and you get yourself down this side and away you go back again to the other end And you continue in this way until you reach the outer extremities of the field. With the field where you've got edges, of course, you would leave an headland as you would. And then to continue on, we then go back to this side again. So you're always turning into your furrow in the same way you do with a reversible plough by going up and down the same side each time you do it. We will go back to the other end and then we will show you the second commonly used way that you would do this. By doing it this way you are ploughing either side of the field inwards and just so you can see the second option of doing this we will get to this end lift the plough and go to the outer edge of the field so that is how you do it making sure you're always turning your furrows to the right to the center of the field whichever way you're going you go either side of this the second common way to use a conventional plough is that you start on the right hand side of the field turning now not into the centre of the field but turning the furrows out and you go down this side of the field Uh, if you're trying to farm realistically and you are using a conventional or other word for it, one way plough is these are the two main ways of doing it. 
we have got a bit of an hill there that we can't get up with the crawler, but... Uh, then... Although... The first plot option, you start off with a pretty close to you turning point on going out to a wide bump. The second option, you start out wide and work your way back in. Now, as I say, these are the common ways of doing the ploughing with the conventional system. This is our ploughs was right from the start from horse plough and tractor mounted ploughs they were there weren't any reversible ploughs as a start so then we've done that side we will then get along this way And we will then continue on with the ploughing. And as you see, we come back onto this side. And this is very much a caller tractor on a conventional plough, or a very much a common sight on UK farms not with Fiat's but with track marshals and international TD6 crawlers as well as the Fowler crawlers that were later track marshals and so you carry on in this fashion from side to side turning out now with the first option you are putting your furrow edge so you've got an hole on the right hand side of the field with this system you end up with one trench through the middle Right, so we will show you the non-standard way of doing it. Right, we need to find ourselves another field. So, go to field 19, we will buy that. Yes, it's got cropping and you would never want to destroy your crop uh, the sec next way of doing it you would drive in a little ways into the field drop your plough down and again this way is going to leave you with an hole in the middle of the field Whereas the second way around will leave you with an hole all the way around the outside. As I said, these were not as commonly used ways, although I have seen farmers plough from the outside in and the inside out in this second way. Uh, we haven't got seasons or anything on this just to show you this way of doing it so you would stop there lift the plough turn your way into the next breed which will be along what would normally be your headland 
not forgetting you've got to go in and leave your gap there. There we have it. As I say, this is not a commonly used way of ploughing, it's just an option from option one and two. This is a third option to realistic ploughing with a one way plough. I never did any ploughing like this on the farm, but I know a few people who did. This wouldn't be used much with a crawler, in all fairness, nor with a plough that's semi-mounted. I know even Virtual Farmer wasn't 100% sure on how to use a conventional plough, but he is brilliant and has learnt me a lot about farming simulator to be fair, so... We will get our way turned back in again. And in doing this, you end up with your corners will always be leaving a strip from the outside of the field to the centre of the field. And again, we stay there, lift it out, and for the next breed, you would come back in to here, and again, leave a little bit further in, and you would go round in the same manner once again. Now, once you finish the field, you see how we've got your corners there where we would have a strip in so you would then drop your plough down and work your way through to the middle of the field in all four corners the fourth and more practical way of doing it when you are using a square field not sure if we're in the middle but you'd measure up to get in the middle you go up this way here and the same as you did on option one we would get this done to there. Now, once you've been up and down a couple of times, so you are now with a little bit more of a square to work with. This option does mean you have got to work out where the middle of your field is so you can do it and then once you've done your four breeds, short breeds in the middle 
we then come around get it to there and then until you get to the outside of the field you keep going around this section in a square and this way you leave as with option two you leave your furrows all going into the field and the furrow is left all the way around the outside of the field with this option again and as you can see you can see how this actually works so while we continue on going round a little bit I hope you've enjoyed this conventional plough tutorial. I hope it has been helpful if you are wanting to use a conventional plough and you are unsure as to the correct way to do it. As you see there are four ways that a conventional plough was used. If you found it helpful or informative, please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment. If you are new to the channel and you would like to see more of what we do here on Summer Farm Estates, please subscribe to the channel, give that bell a ring, it will tell you when we do our farming, when we do our racing, until you join us next time. Thank you very much for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, goodbye for now.